In 1983, the infrared astronomical satellite captured this, an unremarkable image, and one of many countless snapshots this satellite took of the sky. At the time, it was analysed, catalogued, filed away and largely forgotten, buried deep within the vast archives of astronomical data. But nearly 40 years later, as new theories and evidence emerged about a possible hidden planet lurking at the edge of the solar system, astronomers decided to re-examine the image which led to the 2021 release of a scientific paper titled A Search for Planet Nine in the IRAS Data. Within it, the authors proposed something extraordinary. The image had the faint traces of a massive unseen object, possibly the long theorized but never confirmed Planet Nine. If true, it would mean that astronomers had caught their first glimpse of this elusive planet decades ago, only to overlook it. In this video, we'll examine this claim further whilst exploring why many scientists believe Planet Nine is out there, hiding in the distant shadows of our solar system and if it is, why such a giant planet, potentially five times the mass of Earth, has remained undetected for so long. The idea of a hidden world shaping planetary orbits isn't new. Ever since Newton's laws of universal gravitation, we've been able to predict the existence of unseen planets. That's how Neptune was discovered and later Pluto, but the modern-day search for Planet Nine began in 2016, when Konstantin Batygin and Mike Brown published a paper called Evidence for a Distant Giant Planet in the Solar System. In it, they made a bold claim, something big, maybe five to ten times the mass of Earth, was lurking in the outer solar system. This was because astronomers noticed something strange about certain distant trans-Neptunian objects, worlds like Sedna and the Goblin. Unlike the usual orderly planetary orbits, these objects followed a stretched out, elongated path, as if they were being tugged by something massive yet unseen. When Batigan and Brown ran their calculations along with gravitational simulations, it all pointed to the same conclusion. Something huge is out there, tugging on these distant objects. Since then, more and more Kuiper Belt objects have been discovered with similar orbital oddities strengthening the case for Planet Nine. But after years of searching, astronomers still haven't been able to see it. And that raises a bigger question. If this planet is out there, why can't we find it? Most planets in the solar system move along a relatively flat plane, with only slight tilts. Mercury, for example, is the most inclined at seven degrees. But Planet Nine, according to the calculations, is tilted by a whopping 30 degrees, an outlier among outliers. This means it spends most of its time far above or below the familiar planetary plane, making it much harder to detect. Then there is the issue of distance, as it's estimated to be 10 to 20 times farther from the Sun than Neptune, meaning it could take up to 20,000 years to complete a single orbit. Sunlight at the distance is so weak that the planet would barely be visible, with little or no light reflected. Additionally, if we pointed our telescopes in the right direction, there's the problem of movement. The farther out or away from us a planet is, the slower it appears to move relative to us. This is in stark contrast to nearby objects, which shift position noticeably over days or weeks. As a result, Planet Nine would crawl along at a barely detectable pace, which means spotting it requires observing the same patch of sky over long periods to detect tiny shifts in position. And finally, there's the sheer scale of the search. The area where Planet Nine could be hiding is vast, hundreds of times larger than the region where Neptune and Uranus were found. Even though the best model suggests it's currently lurking somewhere in the constellation Pisces, finding a faint slow-moving object is like searching for a single grain of sand on a beach in the dark. This brings us back to that 1983 image, just one of many taken by Iris. At the time, it was nothing special, but decades later, as astronomers pieced together clues about the hidden world beyond Neptune, this unremarkable snapshot took on new significance. 
because when they re-examined the data, they found something unexpected. Amidst the countless sources detected by Iris, one stood out, an infrared signature that matched what we might expect for a distant planet-sized body. Even more intriguing, it was spotted in a region of the sky that overlaps with where modern models predict Planet Nine should be today. Could this be the long-lost first glimpse of the elusive planet? It's a thrilling possibility. The detection seemed to match predictions for Planet Nine's size and orbit, suggesting something two to five times the mass of Earth at a vast distance beyond Neptune. If true, this would mean we had evidence of Planet Nine long before we even knew to look for it. But before we declare victory, there's a problem, actually several. For one, the object appeared inconsistently in Iris scans, sometimes there, sometimes not. That might seem like what we'd expect from a distant, slow-moving planet, but if this were truly a giant world, we'd expect to see it consistently, even across different scans. The fact that it vanished raised more doubts than confidence. And that brings us to the biggest issue. The image was taken while looking directly into the plane of the Milky Way. This is a crowded, chaotic region of the sky, filled with distant galaxies, nebulas and stars that could easily mimic the signature of a slow-moving planet. A faint, faraway galaxy might appear just once or intermittently in the iris scan, creating the illusion of a transient object when in reality it was never moving at all. In other words, what looked like a whisper from the outer solar system might have just been a trick of the background noise. That's why astronomers remain cautious. The 1983 detection is tempting but inconclusive, and for nearly a decade the search has felt like chasing a ghost always just out of reach. No telescope has been powerful enough to confirm it. Until now, as a new observatory is about to change that, and with it, the sky itself may finally reveal its secrets. In 2025, the Vera Rubin Observatory will begin scanning the sky, revolutionising the way we search for faint, distant objects. Unlike previous telescopes that focused on small, specific patches of sky, Rubin will conduct the largest and most detailed time-lapse survey of the universe ever attempted. Its secret weapon? The Legacy Survey of Space and Time. A decade-long project that will take a complete image of the entire sky every few nights, tracking how objects move and change over time. This is exactly what we need to find Planet Nine. If a distant world is lurking in the outer reaches of the solar system, it will appear as a faint, slow-moving dot among countless background stars. Previous telescopes weren't built to catch such subtle motion across the sky, but Rubin's 8.4-metre mirror, ultra-wide field of view and rapid image cadence make it perfectly suitable for the job. It will detect objects a hundred times fainter than previous all-sky surveys, capturing even the smallest shifts in their position. Over the years, it's expected to catalogue millions of new solar system bodies, from asteroids to Kuiper Belt objects, and perhaps even the elusive missing giant we've been chasing for decades. And if Planet Nine doesn't exist, that might be an even bigger revelation. If Rubin finds nothing, astronomers may need to rethink everything we know about the outer solar system. Either way, Rubin is about to change the game. One way or another, the mystery of Planet Nine is about to get some long overdue answers.